In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create standalone notes using the new Rich Text Editor available in Acro Bible version 4. To begin, tap the notebook icon at the bottom of the screen and tap the plus icon to create a new note. Enter a title for the note and any optional tags and tap the save button. We're now in the Rich Text Editor which has a style bar that sits on top of the keyboard. There are two methods of using the style bar to create stylized text. I'll begin by showing you the typing method. In this method, we first tap a style icon, for example, the header icon. It now glows. And when I begin typing, the new text that I enter is in the header style. Now I'm still in the header style and I will return back to normal paragraph mode. So I tap the paragraph icon and continue typing my note. The same method is used to create bold and italic text. For example, to create a bold word, I can tap the bold icon, continue typing, and then tap the Roman icon to return to normal style text. The second method of using the style bar is the touch method where you simply touch the icon and then touch a word or drag your finger over several words to apply style to existing text that's on the screen. For example, I can apply italic by simply tapping italic and dragging my finger over some words to italicize. Note that when using the style bar in touch mode, you may want to dismiss the keyboard by tapping the arrow icon to have access to more of your note. There are five different line styles on the style bar. Header, medium size header, paragraph mode, numbered list, bulleted list, Roman text, bold text, and italic text. Finally, you may have already noticed the copy icon, which is on the style bar, which you can tap to select text to be copied to the clipboard. When editing text, you can insert the cursor in the text anywhere by simply tapping. You can also tap and hold your finger to move the cursor around, as with the operating system editor. When you're done, simply tap the back button to return to the notebook. If at some point you want to change the title, simply tap the title at the top of the screen to change the title and also to change the tags. In addition to the notebook, I can also access a running note from the Bible text screen so that I can create and edit notes while I'm studying the scriptures or following the sermon, for example. To access the running note, tap and hold with two fingers on the Bible text. This opens a new note because I haven't used this feature before. But I can tap the list icon to select one of my other notes. This is the active running note, so if I return back to the running note again, it'll be there. I can tap anywhere here to get the cursor and begin editing. A great feature of the running note is that you can easily create links to Bible verses. The link icon inserts a link in the text at the current cursor position to the verse that you are actually tapping on to access the running note. You can also create links simply by entering the verse reference which will automatically be converted into a link. Since tapping the text is used to position the cursor within the text, links are only live when the keyboard is hidden. The last thing I want to mention is that if you plan to use a note to give a presentation, there is a convenient zoom feature available from the note screen that allows you to enlarge the text so that you can more easily read it, read it from a podium. The sizes of the two fonts were designed so that if you edit in portrait mode and then rotate the phone into landscape mode and zoom, the note will have roughly the same layout that it did in the smaller text 
in portrait mode so it'll still be familiar to you. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions or feedback or wish to follow us on Facebook, tap the settings icon and tap support website to do that.